she adopted um I think she adopted two children, no, one child. And then uh, he has a friend that adopted two children. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait and be, be patient. And then he will hopefully find me some more information. And then I'm gonna have to go to Bulgaria, like I think in the next eight weeks, I'll probably be going. Um, and then hopefully by then the lawyer will have um, things, not the lawyer, the, the realtor ha will have like, you know things ready so that we can start selling some stuff because i'm gonna the thing is like i wanted to invest my inheritance but now i'm kind of thinking like and not i'm not thinking that but it's michael michael kind of he made a good point he's saying his inheritance he's sharing with me um his inheritance is a lot larger than mine then but at the same time like he is also investing his inheritance and it's growing his inheritance is growing but i what i wanted to do is i wanted to make my inheritance also grow mine is going to be just an absolute fraction of what what his was but i wanted to do something really good with it and um uh, but then he says you know if you can get our children like that is amazing like that's that is an investment because you're investing in your children right so if i can you know do the whole adoption process um so um i would like to adopt a girl because i already have a boy and um i just really i just really would like a little girl um and but basically um it's a process it can be uh, anywhere from one to two years basically it's what i'm what i'm thinking realistically um i'm turning 40 next birthday and if i have a child by 41 that's amazing that is amazing and also I am willing to adopt up to three. So, and of course, I need to keep working on my Bulgarian because if I opt, adopt a three-year-old and she speaks Bulgarian, I need to, uh, you know, and I also, I also, like, I don't want to do what my useless parents did and, like, make me completely forget my language because nobody spoke Bulgarian to me ever. So, even my mom, she was so guilty of it that when I, when I came to visit her at 19, she only spoke English to me because she liked speaking English and she was just practicing her English. But, like, she didn't teach me anything. My grandma that I lived with, she passed out a uh, long time ago. But she actually spoke Bulgarian with me. So I actually learned Bulgarian with her. And then this time I I, I, I always I always pick it up and, and I always understand more and but I'm I don't speak that much. Like I just kind of I'm understanding things. Um but it takes some time obviously and, and uh if I, when, when I had to speak, like when we were at a store with my sister or something this time and somebody was just spoke no English, like I, I spoke Bulgarian to them, and, but it was just like everyone thinks like we're Americans, you know, I don't know, they always think you're American, so, but no, we're not. And I often have to be like, no, I'm Bulgarian, I'm Bulgarian, like, come on, like, because it's like all those people try to rip you off, you know, and when they know you're a Bulgarian. The amount of stuff that I could understand. And they're like, oh, you understand that. But the, the funny thing is, I would understand a whole sentence. And then someone would ask me a question. But then I wouldn't understand the question. So they'd be like, oh, you understand nothing. But I'm, I understood, like, everything else. So anyway. But I, I'm going to keep on my Bulgarian. I, and especially now if I start the process of adopting a um, a baby or a, a child, I need to keep that up. Because, like I said, I want... And the other thing, too, I really... Like, I have a name that I really like. And I really wish I could name her that because... You know, Michael, like, Michael wants, you know, um, he, we've already pretty much decided on our girl's name, which is Sky for the Isles of Sky. It'd be S-K-Y-E. Um, but I really like the name Nova. So anyway, but it's okay. Like, if it was my choice, I would name her Nova. But that's okay. You can rename a child anyway. Even up to three years old, you can give them a new name, you know. Um, I mean, most probably it's going to be some, like, hard to pronounce Bulgarian name. So anyway. So that's really exciting. I'm adopting a child. Um, and um, another thing, we are probably most likely changing churches. I've been really, really, really unhappy with the artist church for a long time, uh, about two years. I mean, it's been probably longer than that. There's just a lot of BS going on at our church. And it's like the whole saying, like, don't let, you know, Christians turn you off of Christianity. It very much is like that at our church. I actually doubt that our church is going to exist for very much longer. We have a beautiful church in like a really nice neighborhood, um, but uh, there's not enough young people. And the older, you know, uh, population is all dying, obviously. Um, now some of them are leaving money to the church, but 
actually the funny thing is my mother-in-law is like the biggest donator of the church and she is on church council and she is very 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 unhappy with you know what goes on in our church and how things are handled how volunteers are being treated how you know staff are being treated how it, it just you know how things are getting managed it's very very bad and so actually my um my mother-in-law is thinking of leaving our church as well which will be kind of devastating for them to be honest but it is what it is you know and for me it's uh it's just been a struggle because i'm basically like i'm always going you know head to head with this one woman and her family and she is just a very unpleasant woman very unchristian like like the with the things that she does and says and how she treats people is very very bad and um i basically wanted to be a part of you know i've been a part of like cooking and, and and organizing events and stuff like that and i'm good at it and i enjoy doing it and that's kind of my passion and basically this christmas i asked about a year and a half ago whether i could do the christmas um you know dinner for everyone and to to you know organize it and cook and everything and uh that is um not happening and uh this woman is state doing it just yet another year and uh last year was so bad like she um her food is always like reheated costco food like she doesn't cook she cook she cooks like the the i, I want to be fair to her the occasional thing it's like one out of every 15 things is home cooked okay one out of 15 things the rest is like reheated she reheats everything um she's very rude she just doesn't you know treat people with respect i mean it's just uh really unpleasant like i have a good friend who last year was um a part of the christmas dinner and she just said that she was just really rude and talking badly to people and um she insisted on doing a sit down dinner which obviously obviously a buffet is much 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 better because people can grab however much you know or however little they want some things they might not want you know but she insisted on doing a sit down dinner where she's plating everything and, and serving it like that um, which is very stupid and that's just an, an, a number of criticisms I ha that I have the biggest thing is that I, I I have put my name on the list for a long time and now and I think this woman knows and it's just like anyway um yeah not nice and then uh our our church also had a 100 year anniversary recently that I asked to be a part of um I was actually I I said I actually mentioned about the Christmas and then she put me this this receptionist secretary whatever of the church she put me on the the 100 year anniversary and then it was just a bunch of bs again because this woman that was completely unqualified and actually like ended up uh, screaming at me and, and telling me to shut up and that i was fired because she was harassing me me with tons of emails and micromanaging and i'm like she told me she has zero catering experience yet she was trying to micromanage every single step along the way and i was like i got this like no problem uh, no problem I, I i can make the menu i can do my shopping list i can gather my volunteers i can plan the time for the shopping i can plan the time for the prep i can plan the the table settings and stuff like that no problem it it's it, it it's actually no effort for me it's what i do okay so I told her like I got this like don't worry about it and then but she just couldn't let it go like she had to constantly email me at like at 2 30 in the morning these long emails and and then it was just absolutely crazy and then I I basically I was planning a wedding and I um uh well I kind of not purposefully ignored her just like I was busy for a day and a half and then she basically booted me off the 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 volunteering project and and then I was like, what are you talking about? And it was awful. Like, and I'm not the only person that had that experience. There was a bunch of people that had that experience. So this is just another example of people are putting themselves in charge in this church that are not qualified. And it's also like, nobody knows who put these people in charge. Nobody knows why decisions are being made. Nobody knows why, you know, and it, it's, I'm just also finding that I am not enjoying going to 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 that church i'm not enjoying it i actually dread it part of me is like i'm not excited to go when i go i'm just kind of like blah like i'm looking at all these a-holes and like i'm just like not liking it and and michael knows that for a long time i've just been like i have said on multiple multiple occasions i am done with this church i'm done with it like they are so 
they're just like they do not have any vision they do not want to bring they do mediocrity and that's the biggest thing it is mediocrity they do not go for greatness and i'm like why god does not want us to to be on this planet to be just mediocre god wants us to be our very very best and and this is what i had a conversation with like basically the caretaker of the church and uh, her husband and they just made me feel so discouraged basically what they said is they had the same experience with that woman on the 100 year anniversary and they also don't get along with that other woman that is just ruining christmas dinners and i also said like what if this is like a lot of these elderly people's last christmas and this is what they get another one of this woman's crappy christmas dinners like why i mean why are we doing this you know and then her husband the caretaker's husband was like yeah i know but you know sometimes you just shouldn't give up and stuff like that and to me it was like what i was hearing from these people is like of two abuse victims telling me to st and i'm being abused they're being abused and to tell me they're telling me to stay with my abuser I'm like, I'm like why would i stay with my abuser after so many years of being abused and nothing is changing why would i stay here like I, and also my church is a, an hour away from from my house and and actually way further if you think about it because this is a highway we have to we, we're on a highway to get from our place to the church and the the baptist church in my town here the town that i'm in right now is 20 minutes away 20 minutes away from from our house and we're we're home we're in our neighborhood so i've been to that church before the new church it is much much smaller it's basically a church in a parking lot whereas the other church is like on this beautiful property um and has like greenery around it it's a very nice church the other one but it's not going to survive is it if they're if they're if they're doing what they're doing so anyway so this ch church here i'm gonna I'm, I'm actually gonna contact this woman right now because i um I, I'm i supposed to uh, join this Bible study BSF. Like, if you know what it is, it's pretty... It's like a Bible study that is, like, worldwide. They do the same study. So, it's, like, very organized um, Bible study. And I was a part of it before. But then, for some reason, I stopped going. I don't remember why I stopped going. But I would like to go again. And I'm going to reach out to this woman and see if I can still join them. Um and uh well i wasn't married then and now i'm married and blah blah it's just it's gonna be good anyway so michael has a meeting tomorrow with our pastor from our old church and he's gonna just discuss and and tell him why he's quitting and and everything and the thing is he the pastor is a is an ostrich and i'm sure you know what i mean with an ostrich like his head is in the sand he doesn't want to deal with all the woman drama he doesn't want to deal with any of the drama like this is the third third or fourth pastor in six six seven years that i've seen seven years i've been a christian um and this is the yeah six fifth fifth um uh this guy's gonna burn out and the, the previous guy lasted three years he burned out then we had a guy that oh also like he was like a very very old guy like apparently he was a really good guy back in the day but like he behaved very very badly and actually like that that janitor that i'm telling you about he basically like abused her completely like it was actually really bad and then he was like replaced by you know the pastor that we have now but he's just not he's not managing it well he's not doing anything he's you know things are tough and you need to be like you need to be kind of more ruthless you need to kind of like you can't be always like swayed by everyone you need to do what is right and you need to ask god what is right and he's not really doing it so anyway so i don't think that we're gonna be staying there um for much longer and i think that it's very sad because we do love our kids and there's a lot of good people there I, a lot of good people like a lot of the people that came to the wedding like i absolutely like love these people they're wonderful and but it doesn't mean that i'm not gonna see them you know and i would love to have them over invite them over like you know make just work on the land and make make my my land really really nice so that i can actually take guests and i can take um because right now Right now, it's really tricky, too, with my sister. So there's some issues with my sister, too. She's pregnant, and she's been behaving really, really badly for actually a couple of years, to be honest. Um, the thing is, when you live on land, and I don't know if, if any of you can relate, but if you live on a kind of a farmland, everybody has to pull their weight. And, and, every, and, and my, my, my quote or slogan or whatever you want to call it has been, whatever is required. You do whatever is required. 
and that is that is what I do. I do whatever is required. In the middle of the night, if something goes wrong, I'm off doing whatever is required. And and the thing is, like, and and Michael does whatever is required. Her, um, my sister's boyfriend does whatever is required. But my sister is kind of walking around like a princess, not really doing what is required. And it's been it's been really tough because she speaks disrespectfully to me. She speaks disrespectfully to Michael, and it's it's been really tough because I basically like gave her a house, and and a life, and she has her life is nothing compared to what it used to be. Right now, she has a cat, a dog, a baby, a boyfriend, a house, chickens. Like she's got such a full, rich life, but she can't appreciate it. She cannot appreciate it. She's ungrateful. She's demanding. She's rude. Like you'll ask her to do something and she'll tell me to do it myself. First of all, I need help. I need help. And this is what I said to her. So right now she's driving her son back and forth to school. But pretty soon, because she's already like halfway through her pregnancy, um, she is uh, not going to... She does, She can do the job. She can do the job. It, we pay her well. But she doesn't want it. So she basically is going to be you know, uh, looking, you know, like quitting. And, and her boyfriend is doing this pretty unpleasant job where he's away for three weeks at a time, um, or two, two weeks at a time. He's away for two weeks at a time. He's here for one week and then he's away for two weeks again. And he's working like 12 hour days with, without a break. So it's really, he's working really, really hard. And then he comes back here and then he helps out around the land. So he's wonderful. But I mean, at the same time, he's kind of done. Like he's, I think he's ready to move on too, but the truth is they can't afford it they, they can't afford it you know so it's just it's been really really rough like it's been like you know church is like falling apart like my sister like i i would love for her to be there and to be happy and to to work on being a good homemaker and a good mom and and to take care of her boyfriend and to get, marry her boyfriend to make him her husband and, and all these other good things for her but it's always been her attitude her attitude is just the biggest problem like she's so ungrateful and she says that i'm, I'm demeaning and i'm degrading her and at the same time, I say, okay, but your, your boyfriend, do I degrade or demean him? Does he feel, do I speak disrespectfully to him when I ask him to help out? And she's like, well, no. And then he says, he says I ask him straight up, like, am I demeaning you? Am I disrespecting you? You know, it, it's just, she's very prideful, very, very prideful. And it, he said, no, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting him. And I never have. And the thing is, she also doesn't understand that when something breaks on our land, it falls on my shoulders. I have to take care of it. She doesn't have to take care of anything. When when our septic systems died, she didn't have to do anything. She didn't have to worry about it. When, when when anything happens on the land, she doesn't have to worry about it. That falls on my shoulders. So with responsibilities comes uh, uh, with authority and responsibility. It comes responsibility. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm saying it very badly, but you know. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be like authoritative. I'm also, I also understand that it falls on my shoulders and I'm responsible for it. She's not responsible for anything. She's responsible for her, her, her lot there. And she's not even doing a very good job, to be honest. Like her chickens are not looking great. Uh, the land around her, uh, her house isn't looking great. Her house isn't clean or organized. I helped her organize her closet. Like she couldn't organize her closet. I've organized, I've I got rid of so much stuff in the last little while. Now, I do have ADHD and I am on medication. She has ADHD and she's not on medication. And she's never been on medication. So she's one of those typical ADHD people that wakes up groggy and disoriented. And it's like, what do I do? And it's completely overwhelmed. That was me for many, many years. I am so glad I'm on medi medication right now because my life is going so much smoother like i am organized i am organized you know i wasn't like that before so um you know and it's just like and it's it's very much like you know i asked her so if when you stop driving so what are you going to be doing and she just didn't know like what is your contribution oh well, i contribute i take out the garbage uh okay so you spend like half your time if not more in my house and you're taking out the garbage and i'm supposed to say woohoo or she's like, oh, I clean the toilet when you have a party. Okay, but you're at that party and you also go to the bathroom in this toilet. So really the things that she's contributing are not what I need. Like I don't need, it's nice when she takes that out. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not ungrateful, but at the same time, like, it's not like, it's, you know, and, and what I basically asked her is, why don't you just ask me what needs to be done? Like every day, ask me one thing that needs to be done. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. That's so degrading. Asking someone if they need any help is degrading. I, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. 
why that would be degrading. Every day say, hey, Chris, do, do, you, what do, you, do you need me to do anything? And then maybe some days I'll say, nah, I'm good. Or some days I'll say, oh, yes, please, can you do this thing? Like, what, what is so hard about, about offering me some help? You know, this is what I don't understand. And like, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with my channel too, because like life is, life is real and I'm going to be real with you guys. And these are some of the things that I'm, I'm going through. So one second. Um, I wonder if I can pick up here. Hey love, I'm making a video. What's up? I'm oh, sorry. I didn't know that. Okay, I'll go. Okay, bye. I'll call you after. <laughs> wow, he's so offended about that. Anyway, I just want to wrap this up. So yeah, anyway, this is some of the things that I'm going through. The church, my sister, um, and these are all stressful things that I actually maybe right now like are, are, are looking for like a conclusion. Like I need to, I need a conclusion. So I basically told her yesterday that she was very offended. Like, oh, now I'm going to move out. I'm like, okay, well, if that's what you're going to do, that's what you're going to do. Like, I'm not keeping you here and, and you cannot go on like this. And it's a very similar situation to this other guy that we had living when we first moved here. Um, and he basically was like a handyman and he was supposed to be like a caretaker of the land. And I, for three months, I could not get this guy to start at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, not six thirty, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 o'clock. It took me three months to be like, dude, I want you to start at 10 o'clock. I started at 10 o'clock. I mean, I started earlier than that. I sometimes started at eight o'clock. Um, and I work and I clean and I organize and and this guy was so awful and he lived in our log cabin the one that my uh, Mother-in-law is taking right now really nice cabin. I'll, I'll show you. I'll do a, a land tour pretty soon but basically He didn't want to work like he was he, he talked shit behind my back. He talked shit behind Michael's back. He was uh, Lazy he was always hoping that the work would kind of slow down and he could he would just be able to chill And I was like dude. No the world the work will never slow down. This is like what we paid him a shit ton of money He had the cabin for free Michael paid his car insurance and we were so good to this guy. We were so so good to this guy We fed him so much food like he ate for free like it was insane and and this guy was so ungrateful He, he like I said talked shit behind our backs Couldn't start on time was uh, he, he he once sent Michael this video of how to look busy on a uh, on a work site you know what you do is you you forget your tools and then you walk around and then you look at a project and you look like oh you like think like you basically how to rip people off how to wait how to look like you're busy when you're not well first of all i'm not an idiot and i can tell this guy is not busy i can tell this guy is pretending to be busy so this is a this is a joke that he sent to Michael and we were like <gasps> horrified because I'm like this guy that's what he's doing he goes and then he goes back to get a screwdriver oh and then he forgets the screws oh and then he forgets the measuring tape oh and then he forgets the ladder and he's just walking back and forth and I'm watching him doing this and I'm like what the f what is this guy doing what is this guy doing anyway this is the the, the kind of stuff that, that I've had to deal with and then uh, and then our contractor the last project that our contractor did like it's like we made a very simple drawing and it is it is so far from, it's like a picasso right now it's like this was it's not what it was at all it's it's insane so we are dealing my blood sugar is actually going down but it's because it's still above the you know normal range or the preferred range anyway so yeah a lot going on, a lot going on, a lot of stress. And, but at the same time, I feel like I'm managing it. So with my sister, I basically gave her an ultimatum. You either, you ask me what I need, what I need help with. You ask Michael what he needs help with every single day. Even if you have a newborn baby, you have to contribute. You, you cannot just live here for free. Her boyfriend now, it's gone for two weeks at a time. She has chickens that are not well taken care of. Who's going to take care of these chickens when she has a newborn baby? Who? Who's going to take care of them? Who's going to take care of her dog? She doesn't pick up her dog's poo. For, for days on end, for once a week maybe she put, okay. So that dog poops, dogs poop two to three times a day. So that's what, 20, 20 poops that she's just leaving on my land? That my dogs can run around and then go into the house and go on the couch and on our beds? So she's not doing, she's not, she and, and she also thinks she does a lot more than she does, really. She thinks I've taken out the garbage and she's kind of like, oh, done. I've done my um, I've done my thing for today. I took out the garbage. I took out their recycling. It's like what? D no, I. Do you think that's all I do? You think I do one thing per day? You think I take the garbage out and go done? You think that's what I do? You don't think that I, as the lady of the land, 
am concerned with everybody's well-being. I'm concerned with her well-being. I went to help her with her closet. I helped. I made sure that that Michael is paying for her flooring because her 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 cabin doesn't have any flooring. I I'm concerned with Xander. What, what Xander, my son, his needs. I'm concerned with everybody's needs. And she's just concerned about herself. And she takes out my recycling and she thinks that now no, she's done everything. She's done. Such crazy mentality. Lazy, like prideful. Like when I say ask me for help, she says she thinks I'm degrading her. How? On what planet am I degrading her by asking her to help out? On what planet am I degrading her? You know, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to... No, 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 no. She's like, okay, then move out. Move out. And, and it's very sad because she is fucking up her life. Excuse my language. This is not for kids anyway. But she is messing up her life so, 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 so badly. And I don't... They're not going to last, the two of them. They already have a fragile relationship. He is, was a 35-year-old bachelor. And she is a 37-year-old, you know, who, whatever her history has been. And and they're not particularly loyal to each other. Like, she's she acts very, very crazy. And, he, and, and I don't want to, like, go into the psychology of their relationship. But I'm very concerned that she's just going to end up a single mother. And he's going to have to give half of his paycheck for child support. And it's just like these people just completely messed up their lives because they were too prideful. You know, and he's talking about owning land and stuff like that. Okay, but how are you going to do that? It's, it's, it's not everybody owns land. It's expensive. Like, real estate is so expensive. La I mean, he could afford land, but he's going to move go all the way northern BC. Like, maybe there he can own some land. And then you think my sister's going to want to live in, 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 in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in northern BC. It, it just, the whole thing is just so ridiculous. And she's, again, so prideful. And, and she keeps, basically, we keep having the same conversation over and over again. And she thinks that I'm going to change my mind, and I'm, and I'm not. I'm just not going to change my mind. I can't. Like I, I have too much responsibility to 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 have people live here and disrespect us like that. Like, and, and it it just doesn't look good, you know. So anyway, she might move out, and then I'm going to be showing you guys the house too because I'm going to be putting flooring in and new counters, and I'm going to be doing some renos in that house because basically what we have to do now is if they move, we have to find a couple. Um, that can the the woman can drive Xander to school, and the man um, I highly recommend he has a full time job to be honest, or a part time job, and then he can do work on the land. We, we can have you know him gardening. Uh, I would love gardeners to be honest. Gar gardening would be a massive help to me, because there's just leaves everywhere, and the dogs have run and destroyed everything. Or base like a basic handyman, like a caretaker. I'm looking for a caretaker. And then one day when when Xander's an adult and we don't know longer have to pay um his uh biological mother child support um we will have money for an entirely new paycheck so we can actually uh pay our caretaker and have a full-time caretaker on our property i think that's going to be absolutely fantastic to have somebody work like you know a full-time shift like full-time full-time on our land um you know 40 hours a week like that would be absolutely fantastic um and then we can start developing our six acres because we actually have we kind of divide up our property it's about almost 10 acres but we have three acres that is like what we live on like it has um one two three four five five actually I'm wondering if you can even hear these alarms on the phone i'm not sure you can but yeah so that's kind of um kind of a, a more detailed recap of what i'm going through I also at the church was uh, wanting to start a women's Bible study. I made a, met, uh, a group the other day and not a single one of these women has actually responded. And I'm kind of like, this is another one of those things where you put yourself out there and it's really not happening. It's not working where uh, you probably need to go and move on and do something else. So one of the other things i would like to do as well is to do a bible study with you guys so if you're not interested in that that's totally fine but if you are interested in actually following along i want to read the bible beginning to end so um and i don't know if i'm going to do like a um once a week or a couple times a week or every single day i don't know how it's going to work out but pretty soon actually i am getting ugh, this is more updates so many updates. It's like 49 minutes now and I'm, I'm not even done with the updates. So um, our house is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful house, but it's very small. And if we're adopting a child, 
not if, but when we're adopting a child, um, we don't have a bedroom for, for, for the baby. So um, we, we need to have a bedroom. Uh, our bedroom is way too small for us. We have two big dogs. Um, my husband got a, a new dog recently, um, and she is half Great Dane, half Mastiff. So she is massive. She is still a puppy, and she's so big. So um, we don't have any actual closets in our bedroom. So um, And then we would love a master bathroom and whatever so we're trying to expand our home um and we also um i need an office and um, the kitchen the counters are rotting they're wood I, I don't know why you would do wooden counters so anyway so i had a, a contract i'm actually gonna message him after i make this phone call i'm gonna make i'm gonna do two two things after i make this not phone call after i finish this video um so a contractor came and i told him all these projects and stuff like that that was about two weeks ago and i haven't really heard from him so i'm gonna message him but sometimes it takes some time to like write out all the details and then give you quotes for stuff so i'm just gonna be like hi um any any update on on you know the, all, all that stuff um because there's funding right now there's money for it so we can actually start a couple of interesting projects so one a very interesting project is I need an office. So with my office, I would like to do that Bible study that I just talked about. I also want to start gaming on Twitch. So I'm I'm gonna be under the name of Freya Nova one nine eight five or something. That's my birth year. So Freya Nova one nine eight five. I'll be on Twitch pretty soon. I'm still researching on exactly what you need because you need like I mean a I guess a screen and then. And then I don't I don't know exactly know what. So I'm at, I'm actually I am I've started doing a little bit of research on what exactly it is that I need, um, and then you need to hook up your Xbox and blah blah blah. So I need an office. For, that's the first thing. Okay. Second thing I need a gym because my Peloton machines are by the way fantastic. Oh my goodness, I highly recommend highly recommend Peloton. More the 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 bike. The bike is for when you're in like good shape. I am not in good shape. So the bike is like when I lose a hundred pounds, I'll be getting on that bike. But right now I'm just using the Peloton. But anyway, those two are in my office. So I need to do the gym so that I can move the Pelotons in there so that I can have an office so that I can close my office. We're going to do a round door on my office. So I have two options. I can either have my backdrop, you know, your backdrop, you know how when everyone, you know, YouTube channels, they have like a backdrop. It can either be like trees and outside and beautiful, or it can be the round door. So I don't know yet. I'll see which looks better. But of course, the round door has to be closed, but I'm not, nobody's going to, I'm going to put a do not disturb sign on the door if I'm filming or quiet or whatever like that. So nobody just opens the doors while I'm filming in the back. So either it's going to be the round door or it's going to be the, you know, the, the outside, the pretty outside bushes, trees and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I need a gym. I need, a, I need an office and then I'm getting my kitchen completely gutted. It's going to be beautiful. Like I'm so excited. So we're going to be choosing counters and cabinets and oh, I'm going to be adding like a lot of like, um, uh, custom things. Like I, you know, those pot fillers that, uh, that people have, I want to do a pot filler like for the stove, but I also want to do a pot filler for the dog bowls so the dog bowls we could just fill them water like easy and i also next to my coffee bar i would like a little sink so they can you know with those glass washers so it's going to be a lot of like custom things oh and my pantry is going to be beautiful and then my laundry room i'm getting tub that like nobody ever uses it's actually quite dangerous because it's like in the ground so you have to like step out of it and i feel like it's just a disaster waiting to happen so anyway we're getting rid of that tub we're gonna put the washing machines on in the bathroom so it's gonna be a washing washroom laundry room two in one um and then we're gonna build like a little wall so that you know the, it doesn't splash the machines from the shower um and then i'm gonna peel all the stickers off the window so much more light's gonna come in and you can actually see outside um because that part of the fence we're actually putting a fence there that um nobody nobody around is gonna come into our backyard like our back and i'm gonna tell everybody like uh, my backyard is my backyard your backyard is your background i mean i can go in your background backyard obviously i'm the i'm the owner but I don't want anybody in our backyard like I basically I had that because you know it's so funny that handyman guy that I had to fire the, the one that lived in our log cabin he refused to not walk through there I was like oh you know if we're showering there like you know and I, I could see such arrogance in him he was so arrogant and my sister's arrogant too but like he would he wouldn't wa not walk past the window so if you're showering he was just like yeah no I'm not gonna do that it's like excuse me excuse me so anyway now 
when we're gonna build a hay, a big hay storage for our donkeys. We have four donkeys. I'm gonna show them to you guys later. They're very cute. But uh, we're gonna build a hay storage, and then we're gonna build a little fence. And then that little fence is gonna prevent anybody from walking in front of our bathroom. And I, I will, I, like I said, when I do the tour of the house, I'll show you guys exactly like you know, what our, what our land looks like. But then when the, when the laundry room is there, it can peel off that, cause I have that, you know, this transparent kind of sticker that like light comes through, but you like, you can't see through it. So um, anyway, I'm gonna uh, take that off and then just make a really nice laundry room, uh, bathroom combo. Uh, we also with a little sink and stuff like that. Um, and um yeah so those are things that are also going to be happening and this is this is why it also makes sense that i'm not going to be traveling all the way um to that church and i will still i will do my i have tuesday's D, &D. i'm i'm the dm so today actually after my shop i need to go home put away the groceries make a nice meal and then start studying because i there my crew my my group is still in a dungeon i created a dungeon but the dungeon's almost done and then they're going to be out into the world and then they're going to be off to Valaki. I'm doing um, Curse of Strahd right now. Um, I would like to post or, or talk, make videos about that as well and about like what I've done and, and, and what, what my, what the group did and stuff like that. So I would love to do like a, a D and D recap video on like Tuesday evenings. That would be really fun. Um, or even, I don't know if, if the, if my, my, the guys that are in my D and D, if they, my sister now is kind of tricky and her boyfriend is kind of tricky too. I don't know if they're going to be joining us for much longer. And my sister talks a lot of crap about D&D. &D and she's like, I'm not a nerd and stuff like that. So that it's not exactly a good match. So pretty soon I'm going to, we're going to do an, another meetup. We do meetups here in town. Um, there actually is a D&D &D store right there. I could ask them if they know anybody that needs uh that is looking for a crew or, or a D, D group so anyway but that is another thing that i want to be doing i definitely want to be focusing on 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 posting or and talking about D, D uh bible study um i would love to um to do like homemaking videos as well i want to do a lot more i want to focus more on my passions and and maybe youtube will be like also a way to kind of you know keep myself in check make sure that i you know, I'm on top of everything, make sure that I, you know, I'm, I'm doing what's best for me as well, you know, and I've not been doing what's best for me. I am in this tracker, you guys, I'm so happy with this tracker. I'm so happy. I'm going to make a video about that too. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up now. 57 minutes is insane. But I, I just wanted to say, you know, welcome to my channel. If, if this is, you know, if you have any comments or any, anything you want to, you want to say, please leave a comment. I am definitely going to be on Twitch, like I said, pretty soon, um, gaming on Twitch. I'm probably going to start, I don't know. I, I game a lot of Skyrim, so I, I potentially will just do Skyrim from the beginning or I'll do, I'll do the, I could do the Witcher. I could do, there's a bunch of games. There's actually a bunch of games that I don't even know that I would love to, you know, start gaming and stuff like that but I need I need an office first and I need a really nice chair my chair is so old and I need to figure out exactly how you do it and stuff like that but I mean you I I think I already exist but you can look me up like Freya Nova 1985 I think that's my twitch account but like I said that is going to be pretty soon so it's, it's just a lot of different things Renos, baby new church um Like it's going to be really, really busy, but actually really, really exciting. And I'm also really excited to get on my Peloton. I'm really excited on following my blood sugar. And, and, um, you know, I already can tell that I'm like my, I can wear my rings like quite comfortably. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look, I have some rings here, but that always happens. But like, I can tell that like I'm, I'm already deflating a little bit from not eating carbs. Like carbs are anyway, I'll talk about that too. So you see some, some rings here, but I can actually put it on. Sometimes when I put my rings on, it is so tight that I'm like retaining so much like whatever. But anyway, it's good for now. Okay. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you like any of the stuff that I'm talking about. Again, this is a very long rambly updated video. So I'm going to be focusing more on like compartmentalizing videos and like focusing more on, you know, different, different subjects. Um, also check out the nails. They're crazy. They're cat nails. Can you see that? The glisten? Can you see it? I don't even know if you can see it. Anyway, look at these claws. I did them for Halloween because we are all uh, dressed up as Delicious in Dungeon. If anybody has seen it on YouTube, it's not YouTube, on Netflix. Uh, Delicious in Dungeon, 
amazing anime. Uh, so we were all dressed up as them, and I'm supposed to be this cat cat lady person, but I feel like I didn't even. Um, that's why I'm wearing the ears too. But anyway, um, yes, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, be nice, <laughs> whatever. Um, and, uh, notification bell, you can hit the notification bell if you want, you know, but I, I, I promise I will make another video today. So anyway, thank you for watching. Bye for now.